We begin with breaking news live at 6. With this in mind, I will suspend my campaign immediately. Governor Scott Walker announcing the end to his presidential campaign. He spoke at a news conference just a short time ago in Madison. This announcement means Governor Walker is the second early 2016 dropout. The other, Texas Governor Rick Perry. Governor Walker fell in the polls after a series of stumbles on the campaign trail and forgettable performances in the early GOP debates. NBC 26's Billy Wagnus joins us live at 6 with the very latest. It was a dramatic fall, Stacy. The latest CNN poll shows he was one of five candidates with less than half of 1% after that second Republican presidential debate. Now, this compared to just 70 days ago when Walker's popularity at the point of his announcement to run had him placed among the top candidates. During his announcement today, Walker says today's debate has drifted into personal attacks when it should be about making the economy better. He says he's now helping clear the Republican field so a positive conservative message can rise to the top. I encourage other Republican presidential candidates to consider doing the same so that the voters can focus on a limited number of candidates who can offer a positive conservative alternative to the current frontrunner. This is fundamentally important to the future of the party and more importantly to the future of our country. Now, Walker's campaign saw damaging criticism along the way, including fallout from comments about building a northern border wall between the U.S. and Canada. Walker was also unable to stand out among a crowded field of more outspoken candidates like Donald Trump. He also had issue at times expressing his official stance on issues like birthright citizenship. Billy Wagness, NBC 26.